California Senate will once again consider a bill to reform, uh, a bail reform bill. It's already been defeated by the voters, but they're going back at it. KFPK's Aubrey Aquino joins us now uh, with more, and uh, she's on the line. And good morning, Aubrey. Tell us a little bit more about this new discussion for bail reform taking place in the state Senate, if you would. Good morning. Senate Bill 262 is being touted as a fix for the cash bail system, which would guarantee the right to affordable bail for everyone, including those charged with serious felonies. Jeffrey Clayton is the executive director of the American Bail Coalition, and he thinks it'll result in more defendants being released from jail pending trial. I think the intent was to apply the same rule to uh, all of the of the charges. Unfortunately, the definition of ability to pay is so narrow that uh, nearly all defendants are going to be able to get out on, you know, dollars, a couple of dollars, hundreds of dollars, even in some of the most serious offenses. And if a judge wants to put a high bond on somebody to keep them in jail, uh, that's not going to happen anymore under this bill. State Senator Robert Hertzberg led this new bill and was also behind the original bill, SB 10, for which Prop 25 was a referendum. That measure would have eliminated cash bail in California, but was defeated by more than 2 million votes last November. Okay, so the voters, yeah, said no to this. Um, uh, what are they saying are their new concerns with this new SB 262? Clayton believes this bill is now flying under the radar, but it's an issue that everyone needs to give close attention to. There's only uh, about a week to go in the legislative session, and the Association of Sheriffs and the prosecutors uh, have come out strong against this uh, because they think it's going to increase crime in California at a time that we just really don't need any more criminal justice reforms right now. We need to target violent offenders and try to get them in check. He also thinks the bill will effectively eliminate the bail industry in California because most defendants could claim poverty and not have to post bail at all. Uh, Well, I don't think the bail industry would be viable in California. I mean, I'll continue on and working in in other states, but I think thousands of jobs will be lost in California and there'll be a lack of accountability because bail agents with arrest powers uh, won't be able to return a defendant's to court or serve communities that can't afford to post bail uh, who can use a bail bondsman instead of posting 100% cash. Clayton went on to say he fears there may be a lack of interest in this topic right now due to, quote, fatigue from the elections, recall and COVID news. And he hopes that that doesn't lead to this bill passing. Lawmakers will vote on SB 262 by the end of the week. Okay, well, I guess people are, whether they're for or against it, need to contact their legislators. Okay, uh, related note, Troy Davis, 51-year-old parolee, Mm -hmm. had been released from custody in June in an auto theft case, failed to appear in court, arrested for the 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 murder of a land park woman on Friday. Yeah. The, this Davis character, mm-hmm. he felony convictions in Sacramento County and Santa Cruz counties mm-hmm. dating back to 2017. Right. What was he doing out on the streets? I, I don't know. And I don't know why, you know, the legislature would go against the will of the voters, the, the people they represent, right. uh, to let more people out. I don't know.